Hey everyone, I'm Slime and I'm here with D. And so D, do you have any idea if this is true or not what Teofimo Lopez said about how the fight was rigged, it was all against them, everything, they all set it up, the zone set it up, it was rigged, man. That's why he lost the fight. Man, I'm starting to feel like what it was like to become a Deontay Wilder fan when he was becoming delusional, you know? <laughs> <laughs> because before the the Cambosa fight, like I liked both fighters, but I was rooting more for Lopez. But man, it just like, since he lost, the shit that he is saying is fucking crazy. Mm. So after he lost Cambosa, let's not forget this. Let's go back. He said that he won 11-2. Do the math on that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so 13 rounds. Uh. Yeah, 13 <laughs> rounds. So he was saying that he won the fight 11-2. That was one. Second, he was saying that he the freaking fight was rigged. So what he was saying that was uh, that Eddie Hearn and the zone set him up because uh, when he beat Cambosa, he was going to drop all the belts and then move up weight. And so it would have took Devin Haney longer to become the champion. Um, but, you know, what's funny about that is that the whole Devin Haney fight is not even under the zone. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, it's just like for all that scenarios that fucking happen is fucking like, crazy. Mm -hmm. And so I just feel that he's kind of like losing his mind a little bit. He's just kind of shot that he had his first loss. He, he doesn't want to believe it. And so he's pointing fingers, like saying, like, who's the blame? If it's the promoters, if it's the judges. And so I just, it's hard to watch, man, because like I said, like I'm a fan of his. But I just feel like I, as his career goes on, this is not the first like crazy shit we're going to see. We're probably going to see more crazy shit like this. Yeah, you usually you usually hear the dad, the one that's talking all this craziness, you know, like and now it's, you're hearing the people doing the same thing. It's like, oh, man, like father, like son, I guess, you know, because remember after the fight, man, the father was just talking crazy how the fans were against him. Like, dude, you was those in your own home place, dude. It was like in New York, dude. Like, yeah. And then you cut the real. That's the only thing about New York. And I love and hate New York fans is that. When they love you, they'll cheer you. When they hate you, they'll fucking boo you. And they're mm -hmm. real. When he lost, they fucking booed the shit of him mm -hmm. because he had a shit performance. Mm -hmm. um, that was a guy that he was promising, Cambo said, that he was going to knock him out mm -hmm. in the first two rounds. And he ended up getting knocked down. And then his face ended up getting hit with like a punching bag. Yeah. And so it just like the the fans are like knew who won. The judges knew who won. Everyone who was watching at home knew who won. And so it just, it's hard to watch. Yeah, man. Hopefully he gets it together. And I know he's dealing with stuff outside the ring, too, with this whole situation with his girlfriend and whatever. So, and oh. he's getting surgery, too. Oh, yeah. And he's, like, repairing his whole body. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it, uh, yeah, like I said. He's in a good position, though, because if I'm not mistaken, they have him, what, ranked number two in the 140 now? Yeah. So he's in, like, the... The slot to be like already like early like title contender. He's not gonna have to like wait and have a bunch of tuna fights. He'll be right in the mix, but it's just like man, dude, like you're losing like a lot of fans this way because mm -hmm. we don't want to see this. We like as boxing fans, we just want to see the best fights mm -hmm. and we just want to see people just fight. We don't want to hear people fucking talk and especially people who just like talk and don't back it up, you know? Yeah, and, and so, he's got to be smarter in training camp too because. Remember during training camp, he was taking body shots from uh, um, Francis Nagano. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, I'm like, dude, why are you doing that? And then, like he had like rib issues, and that probably was because of that. You know, taking wasn't it Thor too or someone else too? It was like might have been Thor, yeah. Thor, yeah. So I'm like, dude, why are you doing that? I remember uh, Freddie Roach when he saw people doing that before in other camps. He's like, why the hell do people do that? Like, he's like, just like saying, I'm gonna freaking test my face so i'm gonna have people punch me in the face you know to be ready for a fight it's like dude you don't do that because that's how you get ribs same thing happened with tommy fury he had to pull a fight yeah because he has broken ribs because he had the broken ribs because <laughs> you see freaking tyson fury banging the shit out of his freaking rim it's like dude guys don't be doing that <laughs> you know be smart take the shots when only you have to take them during a fight not before the fight where you're jacked up so I don't know, man. Hopefully, Teofimo gets his stuff together. Hopefully, he comes back stronger. But, yeah, he's talking a bit crazy, man, for what yeah. I'm seeing. So, that's what we got on this, man. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know if Teofimo is telling the truth or if the guy is kind of just losing it, man. Let us know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.